Good morning. Welcome to God Time. We are still looking through uh, the story of Job, especially using Chuck Swindoll's work, Great Days and Great Lives, and um, what a incredible devotional it is. Today I want to talk about trusting God anyway. I, I know that there are times that God seems silent. Job was experiencing this. And, and so today I, I want us to just unpack Job 23, 1 through 17 is our passage. Here's what it says. Then Job answered, Today also my complaint is bitter. His heavy hand, his hand is heavy despite my groaning. If only I knew how to find him so that I could go to his throne. I would plead my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn how he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he prosecute me forcefully? No. He will certainly pay attention to me. Then an upright man could reason with him, and I would escape from my judge forever. If I go east, he is not there. If I go west, I cannot perceive him. When he's at work to the north, I can't see him. When he turns to the south, I can't find him. Yet he knows the way I have taken. When he has tested me, I will emerge as pure gold. My feet have followed in his tracks. I have kept to his way and not turned aside. I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily food. But he is unchangeable. Who can oppose him? He does what he desires. He will certainly accomplish what he's decreed for me. And he has many more things like this in mind. Therefore, I am terrified in his presence. When I consider this, I'm afraid of him. God has made my heart faint. The Almighty has terrified me. Yet I am not destroyed by the darkness, by the thick darkness that covers my face. Wow. When we get to chapters 23 and 24 of Job, we observe three calm, very vulnerable responses from him. If you take the time to read through 23 and 24 of Job, you're going to discover they're magnificent. Job's first theme seems to be, you know, I'm unable to locate the presence of God, but in spite of me not being able to find you, I trust you, Lord. You know my address. You know where I'm at. You know where I'm coming from. That's coming through loud and clear in the first 12 verses. And it seems that Job has a courtroom in mind. I wish I knew the bench on which Almighty sits. I wish I knew where I could locate him someplace, any place on this earth that I could get to him. Hidden within these passionate words is found one of the great things about our God. When we come to him as we are, we never hear him shout, shame on you. No. God hears our pleading. He hears our feelings of need, and he's quick to respond. I forgive you. I love you. I understand you. I'm here. I commend you for facing the truth. Notice how Job refers to the Lord's response. Would he contend with me by the greatness of his power? No. Surely he would pay attention to me. There the upright would reason with him, and I would be delivered forever from my judge. All of God's people find here a valuable truth we can learn from our God. When people come, open and vulnerable with their confession, there is, a, there is one appropriate three-word response. I forgive you. They don't need to be put on the spot or shamed because they failed. They need the assurance of forgiveness. Job asks, would he contend with me? Then he answers himself. He would not contend with me. Even though he's much more powerful, he would pay attention. I could reason with him, and I would be delivered forever from my judge. How wonderful is that? That you know the character of God so much that even whenever he is silent, you know he's still good. You know he's still working, and you know that he will listen to your request. I don't know what you're going through right now. Maybe you're not going through anything. Maybe you just came out of something. Maybe you're heading into something. I don't know. But here's the one thing we can learn from Job. We can have a calm assurance that he's there, even when he seems silent. And as Job showed, and if he tests me, I will come out as pure gold, because my faith in him is not wavered. That's my prayer for you today.
Let me pray for you. Father, thank you so much that you are faithful. The Bible says, even whenever we're faithless, you're faithful. So Father, for those today that are feeling alone, left out, um, they're crying out to you, God, but they feel like they're not hearing anyone. Uh, thank you for their faithfulness. Help them, Father, not to lose heart in doing well, knowing, God, that they're going to reap a harvest if they don't give up. Thanks for your goodness. And thanks, God, that you know where we live. You know our address. You know our comings and our goings. You know the struggles that we're in. And your Holy Spirit is ready to strengthen us in the middle of them. You don't always calm the storm. Sometimes you calm the child in the storm. So I pray you do that now for my friends who need it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I pray you have a great day. Uh, love God, love others, and by all means, go be salt and light.